The number's not as bad as it looks, uh, in fact. Yes, the headline PMI fell uh, in, in March, deeper into contraction territory, but this is a composite indicator. It's derived from several survey sub-indices, we call them, one of which is supplies delivery times. Now, what we saw in March is supplies delivery times get a lot quicker. This is good news because it's an easing of the Red Sea supply constraints, so supply chains moving faster again. Now, that acts as a, a drag on the PMI because normally faster deliveries are associated with people not being busy. Suppliers not busy can get stuff to factories quicker. So it's one of those occasions whereby you get this contrasting signal in that headline PMI. So the key things to focus on here are instead, don't look at the headline PMI, look at things like the output index, the orders index. Those numbers improved, still in contraction territory, but they're moving in the right direction. They're moving towards stabilization. In fact, both of these are uh, around the highest levels for, for about two years. Uh, and, and in fact, we also saw the, the um, uh, future output expectations index also hitting a one year high. So we're, we're showing the real signs of this downturn starting to, to, to perhaps lose some of its momentum and, and some stabilisation perhaps looming around the mid-year mark. And Chris, the ECB has been really keen to get the party started, hasn't it, with regards to its cutting cycle. And considering also last week we just got from Spain, France and Italy some lower than expected inflation prints and now of course we get this North Rhine-West failure March CPI also coming in lower year on year and month on month. When do you think the ECB will be in a, in a position to get that party going? Well, I think we're, we're, we're looking at June really as the most realistic time that you're going to see those rate cuts kick uh, kick in. In the meantime, you know, there is some new, they're very data dependent and we, we're seeing signs of inflation really starting to come down now. Uh, that should open the window for those rate cuts because importantly, those headline inflation numbers coming down are going to give the ECB not just uh, some comfort that current inflation is down, but also that you're going to see reduced wage negotiations as lower inflation means that workers uh, have less grounds to negotiate higher pay. So it forms this nice virtuous cycle of lower inflation. So that's really what we've been waiting to see. And indeed, some of the service sector numbers that we see, we've seen those flash numbers for March, the service sector cost and price uh, indices there coming down as well. The ECB are watching these very carefully because it's that service sector inflation, which is the, the, the main area of concern it has. So that added to this case for, for rates to maybe start coming down in June. 